Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be creating our new to do, uh, add new to do view. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So we're going to select our views folder and press command N to basically add a new view. And here we're going to say add new to do view. Like so. Okay. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and, and create our new to do view. Now for this one, uh, we will need a few things. So I'm going to actually remove this and uh, we will create a binding for add sheet presented. So we can uh, dismiss that sheet. Okay. And uh, we're going to have a state uh, for red state prior to our task text task text and uh, this is going to be of type string and now we're going to create our body okay so body is going to be z stack first of all uh, color dot bluish this is a theme for uh, eumorphic design you always have the base color uh, for your background um, and then uh, we're going to have our V stack and this V stack is going to have some spacing. So spacing, it's going to be about 20 points and uh, I'm going to have some text uh, here. Text is going to be add new to do. So let's add some modifiers here like title, bold, and gradient text color dot blue color dot dark bluish right um, gonna create starting point as top and ending point as bottom then we're gonna have text field Next text field is going to have enter to do as the placeholder text. And basically for the text, we're going to create a binding to task test. T task text. Then we're going to have padding and neomorphic effect. Color dot bluish. And 20. Okay. Uh, next up is our uh, two uh, are basically two buttons uh, that we're going to be uh, uh, using to save and and cancel. So we're going to put them in H stack. Um, that's going to be cancel button. So cancel button is going to be button action dot. Um, so we need to actually create a. Uh, so in this case, we are simply going to say, uh, hey, uh, whenever someone presses cancel, just toggle the add sheet uh, and dismiss the dialog. OK, and uh, for the save, uh, we're going to create a new uh, view model, basically an instance to uh, our view model, this add new to do view model and right there inside the button action. And we're going to save our uh, to do and toggle ourselves out from that sheet okay so uh, that is going to be for for our save button but for cancel button we're going to simply have a h stack for the label with the image system name it's going to be x mark okay and uh, text is going to be close Now, we're going to give these two a foreground color. So simply give their parent a foreground color. And uh, then going to give this button a uh, button style. And uh, we're going to use dark capsule button style. And uh, here, we're simply going to say color dot red and color dot pink leading trailing and 
20 points. Let's go ahead and build it so all the red error is gone. It was just Xcode running behind. Um, okay, so that's our cancel button. Now let's add save button. And save button is going to be again a button with action. And this action is going to be a little bit different. So action is going to be we will create our view model, add new to do view model, view model dot save to do. And we're going to create our to do model right here with ID as UUID. We're going to generate that self dot task text and complete this is going to be false uh, whenever we create task it's going to be uh, not it's not going to be completed by default so incomplete by default okay and then we just toggle our sheet presentation basically just missing uh, from the save state up once the save is done we can actually dismiss the sheet so we can show our list then we're going to have our h stack it's going to have image system name and i'm going to once again copy that name and we're going to use the same system name uh, that we used in the last uh, in the list page and we're simply going to say add new here going to give foreground color of white and uh, I'm going to give button style. Um, there's going to be dark capsule button style. Same as the last one. Color dot dark bluish and color dot blue maybe. Let's just make it dark bluish, both of them. Uh, we don't want to have any gradient for this one, for example, just for a change. Um, trailing and padding is 20 points okay so this is where our h stack ends and uh, so right after that we're gonna actually put a spacer here so this is our v stack i think so let's see let's collapse this guy right here and this is our v stack yes okay so we're gonna put that we're gonna add some padding here and uh, we're gonna say edges ignoring safe area all okay so our add to do is done now let's go back to our home screen and uh, into our home screen we are going to replace this guy with our add new to do view and uh, we're gonna say self dot add new sheet and on disappear, we're going to actually call this closure, which is going to refresh our data set. Okay, so basically, we're going to fetch our records one more time. So let's go ahead and run this and take a look. So come on, come on. Oh, okay. Add. Okay, there we go. All right, so add is working. Now close is working. Let's go ahead and check this. And awesome. There we go. So we have completed 100% of tasks. And we can delete so our progress goes to zero. And we can go ahead and add more. Buy milk. Maybe by eggs. All right, so let's complete these tasks too. Um, all right, let's say we have one and incomplete. So we're just gonna remove that and our progress is uh, reset. And as soon as we actually check that progress is set and then we can simply delete that one too if you want to. All right, so yeah, so this was the entire series on pneumorphic design and uh, basically, uh, looking at um, looking at core data. So hopefully you guys have uh, found uh, this uh, 
this series helpful. Um, so uh, thanks again uh, for staying along in this journey with me, and uh, hopefully uh, this will uh, this will give you some more uh, insight into like you know how the whole new morphic design idea works. And we actually followed some good practices, like we created our controls so we can use a lot of the reuse a lot of these things. Um, and one of the uh, I think I found it very um, easy uh, once we created these uh, uh, controls that. Uh, the UI creation part uh, for the majority of the stuff, complex stuff, was wrapped into those controls, which actually um, abstracted away a lot of complexity from the view itself. Okay, so yeah, so uh, this is it for uh, uh, this series, guys, and I will see you guys again in uh, uh, one of the other uh, topic that we're gonna look into something uh, something new and uh, uh, till that time uh, thanks again and I will see you later